Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to the Maratha Confederacy campaign part number 17 and here we are on the campaign map and we are continuing on from last time we are trying to conquer India as best as we can just looking around the map at the moment just checking how things are I think everything's in order and I think this is the end turn phase from last time so I think I can click end turn Oh, oh, it's all good. Bankruptcy. Um, I'll accept for now. We'll we'll risk it. See what happens. And I hope you're all enjoying this campaign. I'm certainly enjoying making these videos for you. Um, and I'm hoping that by part twenty or maybe just over, this campaign will be finished, and I can concentrate on some other videos. Um, this is only a short campaign. Uh, my target, I think, is sixteen settlements. Um, two of the ones I need to get are currently held by Mysore, so I need to capture both of them. I also need to uh, defeat the Mughal Empire, so plenty of plans are in place as we go through this long end turn phase. And I got a quick question for you guys as well How are you guys finding Rome Total War 2 or Total War Rome 2? Because I recently had a game. Um, earlier today actually oh we can intercept I will auto resolve this victory huzzah um, if you played Rome 2 Total War lately because I played it today I haven't played it for about three or four weeks um, and I recently played it with patch 5 and I gotta say the end turn phase oh I forgot you got this battle haven't we I have cannon right I think we'll fight this battle on the battle map um, but I, patch 5 was on it's the first time I played it I think the last time I played it was patch 2 or maybe patch 3 so I've missed out a couple of patches but I gotta say the end turn phase was much much quicker and also I had the free um, nomadic tribe pack which is Roxolani um, I can't remember the other two. Masigetai or Masigetai, yeah, and what is the third faction? Uh, Scythia, Royal Scythia, yeah. So I had those three factions, and I recently started one with Scythia just to try out the new patch because I haven't played it for a while. And I gotta say, it, it did improve a lot. I mean, graphically, it's still problems, but generally speaking, it was definitely an improvement. From what we've currently been playing, to work out where to put these cannons. I think I'll put them there. And we have five units that we can just group together. Nothing fancy. Oh, maybe a little bit fancy. Uh, oh, I forgot I got a criminal line of my in this game. Okay, we'll start like that need to use my cannons. Problem with cannons in this game, we can't seem to limber or unlimber them, which is a big, big negative for me. However, we will bring our infantry forward. Just to hear for now. Are my cannons going to be used at all in this battle? Problem is, they're fixed. I don't think either of these I need to get these troops in this kind of area to make full use of my cannons. At the moment, they're just too far away. And I can't move them at all, which is horrible indeed. That's the one thing with this campaign. I haven't got very good cannons. Um, they fixed artillery, so I can't move them at all. If I had the horse artillery, then I could just sprint them across here and start firing upon the enemy. Unfortunately, I can't do much more. The good thing with this battle though is that I'm against a lot of armed populace. Populaces. Don't know if sure that's a word. Anyway, we have an opportunity to try to win this battle and try to reclaim this settlement and take out the Maratha rebels. They kicked us out last time. Unfortunately, these two cannons are just going to have to sit tight. It'd be great if I could draw them in 
if <laughs> I like the fact they've weakened their right flank for me though. So I think I'm trying to take this flank first. If they draw, they might decide to come down to me. If I bring this back to normal speed, we're going to take the initiative. We're going to take the higher ground. We're going to actually go for that right flank of theirs, our left flank. With all my units, they're going to march up slowly. We will speed the battle up, of course, to save ourselves a little bit of time. But for some reason, the AI has completely left three units unattended. And these units as well are quite weak, I imagine. We have Bowman. We have Levy and Levy. 136, 113 and 60. So this should be pretty easy. I have quite a few fresh units in this uh, force of mine, this army. So I'll let them march up and just have a look at the range. We are a little bit short on our range. I'm not too worried at the moment about that. i got to try to draw them into me. If I can get them to where my, my uh, units are currently at, then I should be in range just about. But oh well. My peasantry can kick things off by marching forward. And they've decided to react and bring a few units forward. I'm going to counteract them. Or at least try to counteract them. By stationing one unit one side of that wall. This unit's going to cover my armed peasantry are going to get involved now. Try and get a few shots away for me. Sprint some of these men up. As you can see, they are marching slowly towards my cannons. Now, I don't mind if they run all the way down there and take my cannons out at this point because at least my cannons will have a few shots on target, hopefully. And here we go, so far so good. One unit does appear to be routing. Let's switch to melee and dive straight in. Let's switch these to melee as well and dive in. These two will hopefully overwhelm the, the uh, enemy there. These men are in position and my cannons have started firing as you can see. There we go, that's where I want. Shots getting fired. I've drawn them in some sort of range at the moment. Now we have to switch our uh, forces around quickly. These two have overwhelmed. They have done their duty, but now they must come back round to the fight. We need to hold our men, these men off as quickly as we can, as best as we can. Doing pretty well so far with what we have available to us. Come on, get some shots away. May not go well. Bowman are doing very well. Form square quickly. Unfortunately, some of my troops don't have square formation available to them. I'll have to make use with what I have available to me. These men can form square. Using the wall as cover should prove handy. These men are going to charge in now on the armed populace. For some reason they've formed some sort of weird line. This unit, as you can see, should fall soon. Big cluster over here. My men have formed square and are winning slightly at the moment, which is good. Our men doing very well. This square should hopefully hold against the levy. We do have musketeers after all. A couple of units routing over here now. One's wavering. 
form a square with this unit if we can. A couple of units wavering over here. Cannons are out of range as you can see. We can ask them to fire here of course. And perhaps they will overshot. Yes, that's what I wanted. A couple of shots to fire over. It will help me out. And many of them are routed now. Job done, I think. Never say never though in total war. We will counteract some of this, of course. I'm just going to form some of these troops behind the wall. They're all broken, they're all routed. Routing, I should say. Pretty much. Tell my cannons to halt. Seem to have had some sort of effect on the battle. However small that may be, but the battle's going our way now. Doing very well against an, an enemy that has twice the force that I have. The rebels have been put down by the looks of things. doing very well. Well a couple have come back by the looks of things. Or one of them's come back anyway. Get my cannon to get some sort of fire on the enemy. Matter of fact we'll get both of them to fire. That's what I want. A couple of shots to fly in. Disrupt their force. If my musketeers can get a few shots away as well, it would be very, very helpful. I'm going to speed this up a bit more. Uh, it should be academic now. The end of this battle, you'd think is inevitable. There we go, broken, in, broken. And there we are, end battle, heroic victory. We have claimed victory. And with it we have the settlement. Took out mostly men. Kept most of ours. We are bankrupt, of course. Rebellion in Kashmir. Oh god, another rebellion. Oh, we haven't taken this province. I thought we had. Oh, they rose up against us, I think. Uh, anyway. I can auto-resolve this. And we have victory. So we do have a region, after all. I have a rebellion to deal with over here, which is not good at all. We have no money. <laughs> we do have an agent. You can infiltrate this army. Been detected apparently. But they're only mob units. Surely we can deal with these. Kashmir is not not a happy place at the moment. I can't exactly. Oh, we can march out and may have some reinforcements. I don't. I'm going to auto resolve anyway and hope for the best. And we've got away with it. Our army is defeated. And we can head back to Punjab. So the rebellion is dealt with. The populace is okay again. And we have claimed another region. Our finances should be. Yeah, we are getting a bit of a profit now. And we can now focus finally on the Mughal Empire. I do have my army which is marching slowly towards Hindustan which have an awful lot of me uh, mob units we don't have nowhere near the force 
you know, demand surrender. Kind of expected that. We will break the siege for now. We have no more move points left. We'll go there for now. I need more units in this place. Um, population's happy here. We can provide another unit of artillery. Could we need them? Um, how happy are they? Are they very happy? Some camel gunners would be nice. Basically what I'm doing now is making sure that... Can we take these off tax? We can and they're happy so we'll do that to see if we can get a bit more... A bit more income. Hindustan is our next target. These populations are okay at the moment. Can't do too much with them but it's better than being in a rebellion. This, these guys are okay as well. So most of my regions are okay now. Um, we still have this province to take. Calcutta, Bengal, and they do have a large... Well, they do have an army present. But we do also have units which have been ferried around the place. This army can break through here once that's... Once that happens, we can then go for Bengal, which we'll have to wait until the next episode. So, I hope you've all enjoyed. I have been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.